Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you where to find Game Boy Colors in Japan. But not only the Game Boy Color, but the older version of the Game Boy, some retro consoles, some retro video games. So it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, also, we feel very nostalgic about the past, you know, the games that we played, you know, when we were uh, kids. Uh, Pokemon, Super Mario, Donkey Kong, and, you know, playing the Game Boy Color. So if you're living in Japan or just visiting Japan, you don't really know the area. And especially, it's quite difficult to find Game Boy Colors in Japan, to be really honest. I've been to hundreds of stores and I only found maybe five or six which sell uh, Game Boys. As always, I'll put timestamp in the video so you can... Uh, skip to whatever part you are interested in. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you have any question. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want more info. Uh, let's explore. Yes, we arrived in Akihabara. So Akihabara is known for electronics, figurines, and manga. It's uh, it's the best place for otaku, to be honest. Today, so I'm going to show you where to find um, Game Boy Colors and the older version of the Game Boy. Uh, the good thing is that in Akihabara, there are four good shops where you can find Game Boy Colors for a decent price. And today we arrived, the first shop is, it's called Retro Game Camp. And they have Game Boy Colors from ranging from $50 to, let's say, $80, depending on the price. They have a lot of uh, Game Boy Color games, a lot of older uh, version combo games, some Nintendo 64, a lot of retro games. It's a it's a paradise for you know, for uh, game lovers. Uh, they have this store over there. They have two floors. So the first floor is dedicated to I think Nintendo 64, some uh, uh, Game Boy games, and the second floor there is a guy that you know his job is to test uh, video games, and you will find a lot of old consoles like Sega Saturn, or Nintendo 64, some PlayStation 1, 2, 3, etc. Let me show you. This is the store. This is Retro Game Camp. They have a bunch of games outside, outside the store. This is inside. You can see a bunch of games. There's a second floor, like I said. They have a lot of refurbished uh, Nintendo 64 all over there, right there. They have some, you know, a bunch of rare games that they sell, a bunch of you know, Game Boy Color or Game Boy, so the, the older version of the Game Boy. Some very kind of expensive games that they have. Fancy this one, it's about $100, $40. Uh, they have other Nintendo Famicom games for about, whoa, this one is like string and power, it's about $170. That's quite a lot, actually. The entrance of the store, you can see they have a lot of, you know, Game Boy Color games. And then you can find the Game Boys here. So, for example, if I take this one, it's about uh, 5,000 yen or so. Yeah, I can zoom in. 5,000 yen, so it's about $45. And here, it's about... About 7,000 yen, so it's about uh, what, $65 for a Game Boy, so it's not too bad. So we arrive at our second shop, it's called uh, Traders. It's actually a chain all over Tokyo, all over Japan. And they have a building of five, six floors, I think five floors in the basement. And they sell all kind of goods from uh, console, video games, figurines, uh, merch, uh, some DVDs as well. So if you want to find some Game Boy and retro games, I uh, um, I advise to go to the first floor and the second floor. That's where they sell most of the games. Um, they sell uh, Game Boy Color, the older version of the Game Boy. However, in this floor, on the second floor, you need to ask the staff because I think they don't display everything. So ask them. And they also have Game Boy uh, lights. So they uh, change the screen so it's a bit lighter, so it's easier to play uh, the game. And also on the first floor, they have uh, games from, you know, ranging from Nintendo 64 to PlayStation 1, 2, 4, and etc. You know, the traditional conventional game, the new releases. Um, I'm sure you're gonna like this shop really much. And um, let's explore.
So, as you can see here, you have a bunch of games. Sorry, the music is a bit loud here, but you have a bunch of Game Boy games here, Game Boy Color games, some Dragon Ball, some Super Mario, uh, some Pitman, some uh, Pokemon. Be careful, the Pokemon are in Japanese, so don't buy them here. Uh, you can find some Game Boy colors right there. You just have to ask the staff. Uh, this floor has a lot of, you know, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, Xbox, a lot of refurbished games. And the pretty cool stuff is they have a lot of Family Con if you're, you know, a hardcore gamer. And then a lot of, bunch of uh, controllers for pretty much everything. Sega Saturn, Nintendo, Family Con. Uh, they are sending the full package as well. So for example, this one, guarantee, well, only in Japan, but it costs about... 5,000 yen, let me zoom in, yeah, about 5,000 yen, so that's about $50 to buy it, Mega Drive, and a bunch of stuff, so if you want to find, especially for Game Boy, then it's on the second floor. Um, you just have to have, you also, they also have some uh, Game Boy Lite, so you know uh, the Game Boy with, uh, uh, a couple years ago you couldn't really see well on the screen, but you can ask the staff if you want Game Boy, and uh, they can uh, show them to you. But these ones are a bit more expensive, like that's $100, easy. And also, you can see Game Boy right there. Alright, we arrive at the third store, it's called Super Potato. I think you've probably already seen it online on YouTube because it's one of the most popular stores. Uh, it's a little pricey, but you can find a bunch of goods, figurines and everything. So they have three floors. Uh, the third floor, so you have to go straight, straight to the third floor story. So it's just behind me, the yellow kind of thingy. Go to the third floor, you have um, Game Boy Colors, Game Boys, a bunch of games. Uh, then you have the fourth floor where you have a lot of refurbished console like Sega Saturn, Nintendo 64, a bit the same as the other two stores. And then on the fifth floor, you can play retro video games. You have a lot of you know, console is really, really cool. Uh, you can also get some drinks, some snacks. Uh, you can just uh, spend a couple hours, you know, playing with your friends. Uh, what else? You can read books as well. So definitely the store is the most aesthetic one and you can spend maybe four or five hours just, you know, um, maybe visiting around and playing video games at the top. So I highly recommend this one. However, if you want to buy a game of Call of Duty, it's a little bit uh, expensive, to be honest, but definitely worth uh, visit. This is the third floor of uh, Super Potato. You get some, you know, Game Boy Colors, some Game Boy games all over the place. You get even more right there. You got some Game Boy Game Boy Colors here. This is by far definitely the best looking uh, shop. However, it's a little expensive. Like the Game Boy here are about $80. So, which is a bit more pricey than the other store. And also the games are, if you see, for example, Dragon Ball here, they are about, yeah, about like eight or nine dollars. I'm sorry again, the music is quite loud here, but this store is really, really cool. But the games are a bit pricey, to be honest. It's good quality, but not unless. And they have a lot of, you know, consoles, a bunch of video games everywhere. You can play games as well. Again, Pokemon. If you could look at it, a lot of rare games as well, right there. Um, they also have some uh, Game Boy packages right there, and they have some uh, rare games just here. You can see some of the prices are about $30, $40, uh, sometimes even more. A lot of more games. So you should go to the third floor for sure to explore those games. So we just arrived at our final destination. Uh, the store is called Deep Akihabara. It's located just behind me. Uh, you see the green sign and you have to go to the basement. They only have one floor, but they really worked on the aesthetic, the atmosphere. You can play video games. I found some Game Boy Colors as well for quite a cheap price, actually. $50, $55 with a bunch of games. 
Um, you can play games, as I mentioned as well. Uh, they have a bunch of electronics, uh, refurbished consoles as well. Really, really cool stuff. I invite you to go there. Also, I found a shop on, you know, on my, over there, this blue shop. Uh, I've been there before, it's called Sugu, uh, Suru Gaya, and it's a chain as well. But this one has a lot of retro games, actually. So I, I should take a look, and I took a look like five minutes before going to uh, Bib Akihabara, and they have a Pokemon game limited edition, it's like $3,000. I was kind of shocked, but uh, they have some cool stuff as well. Usually they only have figurines most of the time, but this one is really nice. Just, it's literally next to Beep and then Surugaya. I found a Game Boy Color 6500, so it's about 50 55 dollars. Please try to read a little bit of Japanese, or I mean, you can Google Translate just to make sure they're in good condition, or you can ask the staff as well. Uh, these ones are quite cheap. I found like maybe 10 to 15 and a bunch of video games. This store is really cool actually. Like, uh, it's only one floor, but amazing. They, they really worked on the aesthetic of the floor, the atmosphere, and you can also play you know, some games as well, as you can see behind me. So pretty cool. So guys, thank you again for watching the video. I hope you like those four stores plus five next to Bip Akihabara. Um, if you like my recommendation and where to find Game Boy Colors, please put a like, a comment, subscribe to the channel. It will help it grow. And if you want more videos like these, you can click over there. You have some American comic books, some US toys, how to be a model. I do a, a bunch of videos. If you like it, put a thumbs up. I see you in the next one. Cheers.